So I was watching this presentation from Toyota and I noticed this slide. Now this contains a lot of mistakes that I see a lot of people make in presentations and it's getting all the information that they have, getting all the elements and putting it on the slide without thinking too much about the structure or the overall feeling. Now I wouldn't say this is the best slide and I think we can do a lot more with it. So what I'll do in this video is I'll break down all the existing components that we have on the slide and then we'll look at a redesigned version and I'll talk you a little bit through my thought process of how I would approach this type of project. So here we can see the current version of the slide. Now it consists of a few parts. We have the title on top, software defined vehicles in the center, SDV below it, that's nice. And then we have the main part. So we have this entire block here at the bottom containing a lot of information. Now the first thing, if you circle it like this, you can see how much space you use on the slide that isn't really being used. And for me, this is about, let's say 50% of the slide that isn't being used. Now I agree with the argument that you could say we need white space on the slide, and that is true. But the white space in this case, it's not very functional. It's not really guiding our eye, it's not really helping us. So for this, especially if we have such an important infographic, everything is pushed into this part, which makes it very hard to understand what we're talking about. So we want to avoid this. Now, if we zoom in a little bit closer, we can see that we are revolving around this car in the infographic. So that's the important part. Then we have cloud data centers. We have something about chips here. We have an antenna that sort of connects everything together. We have a three pronged approach at the bottom, and then we have some text below it. So you see how much information we try to push into those parts, but well, we don't want to do that. But we can still make something nice, I think, with the content that we have here. Now, another thing that I want to highlight is if we look at these things, these icons, we have a 3D isometric style here. That's a bit that sort of half 3D style, half vector style. The same goes for the chip. So that is already connected, that's good. But then we have this antenna here, which is a plain outline icon, which doesn't really belong together and it doesn't feel like it's in the same style as the other ones. Same goes for the three part here at the bottom. We're using those filled icons, so we don't want to do that. Now we're mixing three different styles and that gives a bit of a weird feeling. Same goes for the car. So the car in itself, it's, yeah, it's a bit of, you see it's a car outline, but there's like icons in it. There's a text on top of it. That SDV is repeated. We already have it on top. So there's a lot of elements that I think we can simplify and make it a lot less cluttered in this case. So what I'll do now is I'll look at the redesigned version and show you a bit my thought process behind it. And here we can see a redesigned version of the slide. Now, the first thing that we've done or the first thing that grabs the attention is the car. So it's a realistic car. We're also working with a car brand here. So that's going to be the center focus. So that should jump out and it should be clear that it's about a car. Secondly, we can see that on the background or it's in the car image, we have that gradient field. So we go from the light and then we go outwards toward a darker tone. That gives us the impression or if we have this sort of yeah, gradient that pulls the attention inwards. So from the dark towards the lighter point. And then again, once we're in the center, pushes the attention towards the car. So our eyes naturally gravitate toward that center. That's what we want. Secondly, if we look at the icons, we've stick to that 3D isometric style. I think it goes very well with this sort of presentation. So we have the cloud data center. We have the chip in that same style. And if we then go to the other side, that three part approach, we see those people, the cars and the infrastructure all in that same style. So that is already the first thing that I try to do is bring the styles more consistent. Secondly, you can see that we're not having that much white space anymore around or around the topics, but we have it a little bit in between the topics to give some breathing room. So if we see, we put those elements, we've kind of split it up so that they're more equally balanced on the slide. And there's not too much empty space that is wasted, but it still has enough breathing room, I would say. Let's dive a little bit deeper into the content block. So here we have the people, infrastructure and cars part. So for that, what I've done is I've added a circle and added the icon on top. And I've repeated that three times. So for the cars and for the infrastructure. So it is just working with the basic shapes in PowerPoint. And then we have that circle in the background. That's just an outline circle without any fill color. So we can push it to the back and that gives us that infographic feeling that we want to have. In that text, we have the three pronged approach with the tree in a larger, in a color. So a larger font in a color that it jumps out a bit more. Then if we move over to the data center, we can see that we have this shape here. That's a bit of a triangle shape. And I tried to fill it up with that text also in that triangle to create that little box here. 
so that we create that sort of rectangle. So I try to position the text in a way that it sort of slides in nicely and it sort of belongs together. And then what we have here at the bottom is we have that chip just with SOC and that's that. Now we also have those connecting lines. So those were important, but I think in a second order of effect. So we know that these things revolve around the car. We just need to connect them in a small place. So what I've done for that is just a little circle, both sides and that line in between. Now I've also just added that antenna or that signal around the car. So it signals that, okay, the signal goes out from the car into the data center or into the chips. So that's how I want to approach this. And then we have at the bottom, we have that little title here. So safe and secure automated driving. Now to put emphasis on certain parts and also add that branding in, I've added those two keywords in a different color so they can really jump out. And then as a last part, if we have the title on top, same title, software defined vehicles with SDV in a little lighter font. So it's more second order effect on this slide. So I think if we compare to the previous version, I think we can say that we have improved the readability and the clarity of this slide. Here we push everything too much into that corner. So we want to avoid that and really stretch it out a bit more. So overall, I'm very happy with what I've done with this design. And I think it's more of a memorable slide and people will more likely remember and retain the information. And that's what it's all about. So definitely let me know what you thought of this redesign in the comments below. If it was helpful for you, that helps me a lot to decide what content to make. Now, if you want to learn how to do this yourself and really get that eye for design, well, I have an entire program available that teaches you all the fundamentals you need to know. So if you're interested in that for yourself or for someone in your team, make sure to check the link in the description below. So I'll take you through all of the steps to become a professional slide designer and really get that eye for design to spot what's wrong and really fix your slides. Thanks a lot for watching and see you in the next video.